Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we are going to be looking at Newton's first law of motion and inertia. So what do both of those things mean? Well, Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest unless it is acted upon by a greater force. What does that have to do with inertia? Well, Inertia is just a fancy way of saying resistance to change. <laughs> so an object at rest wants to stay at rest, which means even if we do something to the area around it, that object is going to want to stay in the exact same place. Let me show you what I mean. Here we have a stack of quarters very definitely at rest. I'm going to take this metal ruler and very quickly, I am going to knock out the bottom quarter. But instead of all the rest of them falling all over the place, they simply drop into the place where the quarter was before. They want to stay at rest. Here we'll see it again in slow motion and you can watch them simply drop down instead of falling over. Let's take a look at this from another way. Here I have a plastic cup, a piece of paper with a string tied to it, and a quarter on top. Now that quarter on top, very nicely at rest, and when I yank the card away, as long as I keep it in an even motion, you can see that that quarter wants to stay right where it was. I've taken away where it was sitting, but it still wants to stay in the same position. Gravity just makes it drop. Here we'll see those same principles, but we'll see it with a cup stack tower. We'll go quick, and then I'll show you in slow motion as well. If you've ever seen a magician do the trick where it pulls the tablecloth from underneath the dishes, that's Newton's first law of motion. Thanks for following along guys. I hope that that was pretty entertaining and might give you an idea of a couple inertia experiments you could even try at home. One more thing before I go, don't forget that June 1st starts summer reading season here at Rapid City Public Library. So you can jump onto our website and print out your own summer reading log or bookmarks for teens or for adults, or you can stop into the library and pick them up as well. But we sure would like to see you all take part. So let us know if you have any questions and I'll see you back next week for another Science Short.